Be getting in the road. And uh, the power able to control. Oh. Dangerous kick back to Westhoff. Wait had a little opportunity. Almost made the most of it. Not quite. Wingard on the scene, but Carlton hitting hard. Dale Thomas wouldn't he like to kick the first one after getting in the road of the opening oh. kick. Dale Thomas. <laughs> He's very excited. Very happy. Andreas Everett to follow up from Dale Thomas. What a start for the Blues. To Just hit it to the right spot. And as a result, Hamish Hartlett lines up. 35 metres out, slight angle. First shot at goal for Port Adelaide in 2014. And he makes no mistake. Simpson kicks long to Ellard in the pocket. He takes the mark. And we'd love to get 50 here. He's getting the 50. Chris came in that little goal. shot. Brilliant stripping uh, work, John. Uh, their pressure is absolutely superb. The run from behind pressure on both came from, as we see, the, the goals. Skipper. Nice kick inside 50. Good use of the body there by Gartlett. It comes out the back of the pack. Will it be? Oh. Gets it well. And Ellard gets his second. Goes Schultz. At the fall of the ball. White tries to crash through. Comes back to Ebert. Off balance. He just slams it on the boot. How it go? Beautifully it will. Westhoff gets an open goal from the handball. Off Wingard was good football. Did that with it. Really deep forward set up. And it was quite effective. Again, Westhoff and Butcher both there. And Westhoff marks. He, what is he doing playing on? He kicked the goal. But <laughs> that's just crazy stuff. And gone the complete opposite. So Schultz comes in for three goals in six minutes in this second term and Port Adelaide are within four points. To the centering kick from Port Adelaide, it was probably just too risky. So Bryce Gibbs comes in from 25 metres out directly in front, does what a good player should, and puts it right through the middle. Bell again. Turno. Oh, that's a great kick. How it got there might be a question, but there's no doubt about the kick. Could have done with a bit of armour there, Ed. He comes in and puts it through. And half back for them. Mm, he's been playing that half back role during the pre season, played each of the, the three games, so it's a bit surprising. That was a bad error, though, and it's opened it up for Garlett to bomb it in long for Kuna, to bomb it in long and put it through. It's been a four goal to three quarter in favour of Port Adelaide with Carlton going again. The handle comes out to Gibbs, who loves this, lines it up, kicks right through it and puts it through. Carlton back out to a 24 point lead, a game high lead so far. A wonderful memorial on Saturday over at Adelaide Oval. So Warnock goes up, the ball flicks out, here's a chance around the body. I think it's going to be a goal. Oh. And I reckon it was Wines who got it. Yep, Ollie Wines kicks the goal. Badly needed one for Port Adelaide. Well, because every time the ball's gone down, Westhoff has just been too good for Watson. He's kicked three in the corner, as we said. This is for number four. And he's got it right that time. Four for the quarter. Yep, Wingard, he's got a couple of yards just to work things out. Schultz and Gray. Gray's got a combat two. So Schultz is left standing with Jamison, the push, the shove, Schultz goes to ground, had to slap it out, too slippery, Robbie Gray knows how to do that, done it before, does it again, they're back within three. Shaping for the big drop punt. Bobby's going down there to get on the line, it's good work. Likes his chances, nice build up, he gives it a good kick, look at that one, that has gone 55 on the fly, did not look like missing, and Port Adelaide hit the front for the first time. Good confidence for this young side, exciting team Port Adelaide, and Ollie Wines comes in, he'll have to kick at 40 metres, on a 45 degree angle, he likes it off the boot, look at that one, spears it right through the middle, if you don't mind, he gets his second, and Port Adelaide go to a nine point lead, which is what set them uh, set them alight got them a handy a handy lead we're about to find out i think jono 13-6 last year for e but no problems with that and that's six in a row for port adelaide well, big kick this one as we said have not scored a goal since the 20 minute mark of the second term until that moment when jared wake gives the blues a sniff points to get it back inside a goal two points the difference if he can kick straight Wake comes in, does just that, Carlton right back in it. 
Adams through the middle. Looking at open up. Get it into Yaron's hands. That's the plan. Wait, makes his move. But let's watch Yaron just steady and skip the ball through for a goal. And the Blues are back in a meaningful way. Off hands. Pollock's got it again. Handball's inside. Even. They are, don't argue. Did it well. They've got the numbers here. Port Adelaide. Look at that, Robbie Gray. Twisting and turning. Swings around. Left oh, foot kick. Oh. It's an absolute ripper. And Port Adelaide hit the front. Probably Port Adelaide's best player in this term. Average 22 disposals through the pre-season to Jared Pollock. So Robbie Gray, who's kicked 120, 82, is a good kick. Comes in and puts it through the middle. That is a Whoa. ripping kick. Seven-point margin to Port Adelaide. Made the sub down there, Kingy, the Blues. We'll get to you in a moment with all those details. Port lead by seven. And Jay Schiltz. A very, very reliable man in front of goals on most occasions. Slots through his second of the afternoon and evening. Old House. Ninjas kick goals through the preseason, so they'll be hoping he can do the same. Oh, look wow. at that! That is gone beyond the centre circles. Jeff Ferry! Yes, from Jamison. It's going to come straight back. Oh. Wingard up into the, into the sky almost. Here's Pollock breaking through. What a recruit! He might well be for Port Adelaide. He's put it through. 7% as well, which that's that's just fantastic effectiveness. So Robbie Gray, two goals, one on the board, comes in and makes it 3-1. Make that four. What a night he's had. And what a final turn for Port Adelaide. They've kicked five goals, five to one point in the quarter. West off just a couple of steps, leans back and sits back and admires his work as it sails through. Walker can set up a rare opportunity for Carlton to take a mark in this last quarter. Allard had an opportunity also. They flick it out the back. That should be all right. And Garland puts it through. Last 20 seconds of this game as Loby bombs it in. West off it back. Just let it go. Wingard. Big flying left foot kick up to the square. Big chance here. Off Butcher. Oh, he got one. He got one. He didn't have to line that one up. He just had to put the boot into it. <laughs> and Butcher kicks the goal to put the icing on the Port Adelaide cake.